History of Broadcasting What is broadcasting? Broadcasting is the transmission of programs or information by radio or television. The Historical Years In 1897, history-making pioneer Carl Ferdinand Braun invented the cathode ray tube. These use a focused beam of electrons deflected by magnetic fields to render an image on a screen. In 1906, history-making pioneer Reginald Fessenden invents wireless telephony. Radio waves carry signals a significant distance. In 1920, KDKA, a Pittsburgh Westinghouse station, transmits the first commercial radio broadcast. In 1925, Radio's The Smith Family introduces the whole soap opera format. In 1926, NBC is established by RCA, General Electric, and Westinghouse. In 1927, history-making pioneer Philo Farnsworth transmits the first all-electronic television image. In 1929, history-making pioneer William S. Paley founds CBS. In 1938, a young priestess in Kane fame, Orson Welles, broadcast his adaptation of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, causing a nationwide panic as listeners believed that aliens were actually invading, which inspired the 1953 film. Here's the original War of the Worlds broadcast as it was first premiered. In 1939, Robert Kane introduces Batman and also the first, first presidential speech. In 1940, the Superman radio show debuts and also the first Bugs Bunny cartoon debuts. Here's links to each of them so you can see what they were like. In 1947, the first televised World Series happens and the Yankees beat the Dodgers. In 1950, Saturday morning cartoons begin and the first pay-per-view service, Phone Vision, becomes available. Here's a significant te technology advance. In 1953, color television is introdu introduced to the U.S. In 1954, or what I like to call the takeover, um, television broadcasters' uh, revenue surpasses that of radio broadcasters. Uh, the revenue for television that year was $593 million. 1959, rumors of cheating on quiz shows turns to a national scandal, which was um, later turned into a movie in 1993, directed by Robert Redford. In 1960, by this point, 90% of U.S. homes have a television set. A satellite television, Telstar, is launched in 1961, which was a significant technology advance. Another significant te technology advance, color television makes its way into U.S. homes in 1964. In 1967, Congress creates PBS. In 1972, HBO is created, which would become the first pay cable network. Reports from the National Institute of Mental Health claim that exposure to violence on television influences children which would later go on to be a popular subject of matter. In 1975, Saturday Night Live premieres on NBC. In 1980, CNN is launched, becoming the first all-news network. In 1989, 98% of U.S. households have at least one television set. Also, The Simpsons debuts on Fox and Seinfeld debuts on NBC. 
1997, television rating systems come in place on broadcasting networks. There's TVY, TVY7, TVG, TVPG, TV14, and TVM, which is now known as TVMA. News and sport programs, however, are not rated any of these. In 1998, high-definition television is introduced, also known as HDTV. This was a big, significant technology advance. What do I see in the future of broadcasting? They already have shown so much with what they can do with aging effects and making someone like Will Smith look 20 years younger or the cast of The Irishman look younger, and also they do it in Bill and Ted Face the Music as they look older. So I think this will just keep expanding and expanding as it already has. I think holograms and vo virtual reality will both get more mainstream and improve to where you can literally be in the movie and have a more immersive experience. Television sets may not even be a thing in the future, and we'll be looking at a projected simulation as shown in the movie Her. Questions? Now is the time to ask them.